Milwaukee Brewers hosting the Los Angeles Dodgers. The Dodgers are minus 115 on the money line. The Brewers are minus 105. The over-under is 7.5 runs. The Dodgers laying a run and a half are plus 143, meaning if you bet them that way, they must win this game by 2. Milwaukee getting a run and a half is minus 170, meaning if you bet them that way and they win this game outright, you win. They lose by 1, you win. Heaney did not pitch against the Brewers last year or this year. Burns pitched against the Dodgers once last year. Two innings, three runs, three earned. They lost that game 8-3 to three in L.A. The Dodgers are on a one-game winning streak. They're 8-2 and two in their last 10. They are 41-20 and 20 on the road. They are 5-1 and one as a team with Heaney on the mound, and the over is 4-1-1 one one in the games in which he pitches in. Milwaukee is on a one-game losing streak. They're 4-6 and six in their last 10. They are 30-24 and 24 at home. They are 14-9 and nine with Burns on the mound, and the under is 11-9-3 in the games in which he pitches in. The Dodgers are 6-4 and four against the Brewers in their last 10. The underdog getting a run and a half is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The over 7.5 is 6-4 and four in their last 10 meetings. The home team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. And there has been 1, 2, 3, 4 one-run games in their last 10 meetings. The Dodgers hit right-handed batters much better than the Brewers do. The Brewers hit lefties. Their average is 216, so it's not very good. It's a huge drop-off from how they hit righties. I'm going to go Dodgers with the money line, Brewers with the runs, and I'm going to go over. I say that this is a one-run game like these last couple of games have been. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.